How would you feel if she didn't have this hospital to come to, if they oh closed it? Oh, my God, I'd, I'd kill them. I'd, this hospital, they shouldn't close it because that's the best hospital, clean hospital. The nurses are all good. The doctors are all good. And at least I could stay with my mother. I think most people on the West Side believe we're trying to close the facility. That is not at all the intent. The intent of the recommendation is, in fact, to change the mission. Buffalo Columbus Hospital on the city's lower west side is facing a drastic change. Some say it would have a harsh and extremely negative impact upon the area residents, while others feel the change is long overdue because of inappropriate use of hospital beds, resulting in a significant impact on increased health care costs. Founded by Dr. Charles Borzellari more than 75 years ago, Columbus Hospital served the influx of Italian immigrants in addition to the mixed ethnic settlers in the neighborhood. Today, the hospital is in a similar situation with a third of the neighborhood comprised of Hispanic-speaking residents. The change is being sought by the Health Systems Agency of Western New York, one of the state's eight regional advisory agencies. The HSA task force has recommended converting Columbus from an acute care facility to a long-term nursing home and ambulatory care community emergency room or walk-in health care facility. Columbus board member Robert Beck is against the change. Many, if not most of the people here in the Lower West Side uh, are walking people. They don't have cars, and uh, if they have a car, it's not a dependable car. Furthermore, they are, they're not wealthy enough to, to be able to afford a regular doctor. Uh, the third thing is there, there are very few doctors who live in this community to, to whom a, a walking person can go. At least one-third of the people in this community are Hispanic, and especially among the older ones, uh, if, if they don't handle the English language very well, they certainly don't know English uh, medical terms. And this is a facility to which they can come uh, and get adequate, decent, understandable uh, medical care. ¿Y por qué? Porque hay muchas personas aquí que pueden ayudar a usted y entiende qué pasó. Sí. Muy bien. Siempre me han ayudado aquí. Muy bien. Okay, Mr. Martinez said that he always comes here mainly because of the language problem that he has. Invariably, where he goes elsewhere at other hospitals, they don't seem to understand precisely what he's speaking about. If they had a good ambulatory care program, there would no, be no need for Erie County to put into the neighborhood a, a, uh, another health care center about five, six blocks away, which is ambulatory care and this basically serves the Spanish population. This hospital does not provide the widest range of services to its neighborhood. In fact, most of its community goes outside of the hospital to receive those services. The area that it serves is a medically underserved area, indicating that there is, a, is an acute lack of uh, physician care and uh, medically related services to the residents in that area. As well, uh, a large number of the residents in that area are either poor or low income. And uh, Columbus Hospital has had a long tradition of, of taking in all inpatients uh, who need admissions. The, uh, this is not the case with a lot of other hospitals. In fact, uh, Columbus has been noted for taking in admissions that other hospitals have turned away. I would say that um, there are a lot of neighborhoods that are medically underserved. Uh, uh, I, um, we just take a look at Columbus and when you look at that neighborhood, they, for instance, don't have maternity services. They do not have an ambulatory care program uh, for their neighborhood. The only services they offer, basically, are medical, surgical, and emergency ward. The real problem of this hospital deals with the patients it does serve, and too many of them are belong in a nursing home rather than in a hospital. Who do we have in a, here at Columbus, Mrs. Lavolo? My mother, Mrs. Maria Manuel. She's been here in and out of this hospital so many times, and they always took good care of her. The nurses are beautiful, the doctors are nice. They're at her bedside every little while. They do everything for her. 
How young is Mama? My mom is 98 years old. She'll be 99 April the 14th. How would you feel if she didn't have this hospital to come to, if they oh closed it? Oh, my God, I'd, I'd kill them. Many residents in the Lower West Side are under the impression that the hospital is going to be closed. We all know it will be converted. But will it have the same effect as though the hospital were closed to these people in the neighborhood? If the recommendations, which are now out for public review, are adopted by the Board of Directors, and if they are accepted by the Board of Columbus Hospital, and it in fact becomes a, a, a different facility, it will become a nursing home with an ambulatory care outpatient facility. So its mission will change. This task force is calling for the development of an ambulatory care facility, a walk-in health care facility for the people who live on the Lower West Side. The Buffalo Columbus Hospital presently has no outpatient department. And this is going to augment and provide a new level of care to the residents of the Lower West Side. There are already existing, Fran, five hospitals within two miles of the existing Buffalo Columbus facility. This is a, a great mix of people, and those of us who are here really enjoy it. But it brings its problems. Now, in the downtown area, we're, we're probably the closest hospital to the, um, to the business di district downtown. And uh, Columbus Hospital has, has been uh, of tremendous assistance to um, professional people and others who have faced real heart uh, emergencies, and, and they've brought them here and, and had excellent service. We have a waterfront uh, renewal project, which uh, is creating housing on the waterfront, uh, and presumably will be creating a need for uh, medical services in the immediate uh, vicinity. And secondly, you have a lot of uh, new housing going up in the Lower West Side. It bodes well for the future of Columbus Hospital and certainly sh does not indicate that Columbus should be closed because I think it's going to have a larger constituency to draw on in the future, not a smaller one. So once again, the Health Systems Agency, I think, overlooked that fact as well. I take umbrage with the report of the HSA, and I think in this instance they've made a mistake. Public policy change is, is very difficult. I can understand the sentiments and the fears of the people of the Lower West Side. That facility has been there for a long time, but things are changing. There's been a tremendous erosion of population. In 1960, there were 29,000 people on the West Side. In 1980, we're down to 15,700. When you, when you see the magnitude of population loss, plus the significant changes in hospital care, you know that it's time for change. The task force is trying to strengthen the Lower West Side, to give them a facility that will provide opportunities for employment and that will provide an appropriate level of care.